Hey, y'all, what's up? This disciple Marcello Curtis rain back up in this anti-Illuminati all day, anti-America all day, anti-cop all day, and everybody with him, y'all. So this video is going to be about <clears throat> the East Coast Mexican-American community that have gang-stalked me for, for money uh, given by the Illuminati and secret societies. A lot of you have no, you're not aware of it because you don't, you live in, Nine to five world, that's how I put it. You live in the nine to five world. You go work a nine to five. You don't know nothing about politics and everything that's going on in this world. That's a seven out. But there are real politics. Everything is not a conspiracy. Everything is not false information. Okay? That's why you have real you have you have real spies. You have real um wars that's going on. Wars are not openly out in the open. That's a seven. And if you don't realize that, you'll be sitting back thinking about every, thinking everything is a conspiracy that everybody's talking about, that they're going crazy, that, they, that they're schizophrenic paranoid. Nah, everybody ain't schizophrenic paranoid, buddy. <laughs> everybody, yeah, I can see. I can see. I have ears, eyes to see, ears to hear. <laughs> yeah, you can't pull no wool over my eyes. So here's what happened specifically in my situation. I told the Mexicans in the East Amherst, Jackson Heights, Queens community to stay out of my politics. Stay out of stuff you ain't see with your own eyes, stuff you didn't hear with your own ears. I told them, I pre, I warned them, pre-warned them, which is double the warning, <laughs> double the warning shot. I told them to stay out of my politics, stuff they don't got no business in, right? That's how you know I don't have no problem with them. I told them to stay out of it. I told them to stay out of stuff they had no problems with. But the money, the money enticed them, the little peanuts that the Illuminati Secret Society threw them, that enticed them. The lies that they heard enticed them too. They were interested in these lies. They were interested in this controversy. That they was interested in sipping the tea like the rest of you Americans. Because I want you to know it ain't got nothing to do with racism. It ain't got nothing. Don't flatter yourself. To be honest with you, anybody that's talking about racism with me, I don't care what color you are. You're flattering yourself. I don't. I don't spend time in my bed laying thinking about you. You don't take up no time in my day. <laughs> that's real. You don't take up no time in my day like that. So don't flatter yourself that I'm sitting here obsessed or thinking about you, buddy. I dress stuff as it comes. I dress stuff as it comes. That's a seven. So if you coming, I'm addressing you. You playing around me, and I'm addressing you. And you can't holler that it's racism. How is it racism when you really playing games? That's a seven. How is it racism when you taking money and you in my politics? That's another seven. So if you're in my politics and I'm addressing you, how is it racism? You can't pull no wool over my eyes, bro. And here's the thing. Of course, it ain't going to be everybody. How? Make sense of it. I mean, make yourself make sense. <laughs> make yourself make sense. How is it going to be everybody? How is it going to literally be everybody for it to be a problem? It's a problem without it being everybody. That's a seven, Al. Hey, it's a problem without it being everybody. I don't care if it's not everybody. It's still a problem. And most people that have problems with groups of people or other people, it's a, it's, it's a problem without it being everybody. Obviously, obviously. Did it take everybody? Obviously not. It obviously is not everybody. So you're going to have problems with people without it being everybody. You got to get that out of your perspective that, well, it ain't all of us. Well, it's enough of you. And that's all I need is enough of you playing games with me. And let me help you understand something. How I feel. I don't know. I don't know about how the next man feel. This is how I feel. And I've expressed this. I keep it 100. I'm not some YouTube video guy hiding in a room somewhere. I go outside with this perspective. That's a seven. Yeah. I go outside with this. You know, you cannot sit up causing problems. And then throw a rock and then hide your hand. That's how we say in America. Listen, you can't throw a rock and hide your hand. If you start bad politics, 
than what you expect to happen. Huh? Because you didn't have to be involved. This is how I feel, bro. Like, the black experience is, is, is the black experience. You, you, the Mexican experience is the Mexican experience. We do not have two experiences in life. So what make you think that <clears throat> America makes you feel, and some of these black folks make you feel, that we have the same experience because sometimes we come into unity. We may build families together. We may, uh, you, 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 you may find companionship with someone that is either black or Mexican. You may feel that that right there makes us unified. It don't. It don't. Okay, there isn't a difference between how black people are treated in this country different than everybody else. It's obviously different. It's obviously different how black people are treated as opposed to everyone else, let alone Mexican. So when you have the audacity to play with somebody black, you don't know where you're at. That's a seven hour. Well, you should see how oppressed black people are and, and don't add to that oppression. Whether they get along with other black people or not, because if you don't got eyes to see and ears to hear, we already don't get along with each other. That's a seven. So how is that racism where it looks like you don't know what's going on and you call it, you hollering everything is racism. No black people. We don't get along. We, none of us get along. And if you try to sit here and blow smoke up everybody, but like we do, you lying to yourself. You know, we don't get along. We killing each other all the time, all the time. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. We killing each other all the time. And you sitting up here talking about people racist. We hate, we, we have hate in our community, hate that you don't know about. It's like a relationship. You hear two people arguing. You don't know what they arguing about. Then won't you stay out of it then? That's grown folks business. Won't you stay out of it? Yeah, but you involve yourself in somebody else's relationship and now they mad, they both mad at you. Because you what, what you here for? We don't have the same experience in America, and that's the bottom line. That's not a racist statement. A black man goes outside, and he's treated totally different than when a Mexican man goes outside. That's the bottom line, bruh. And so I warned you not to involve yourself in your in my politics. You already know how black people are treated here. And if you got the balls to play with somebody that's black and you already know how they treat it here in America, based on the history, you already know that, then you asking for problems. You asking for bad karma. You asking for God to judge you. Because God sees the oppression that we go through and I go through. I've been through it. I've been through called I've been through being called racist slant slang slanders. Ask some of these other people that that's talking, hollering and hooping and hollering and crying all the time like a, a dog, like a yelping dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ask them. Have they ever been called out of their name by white people? Ask them, have they ever been called out of their name by black people? I've been called out of my name by white people and black people. That's a seven. So what you talking about? So what you talking about, really? See, you involved yourself because, see, you went with the popular crowd. You went with the little jocks. You went with the college jocks. You went with the cornball jock lanes. They got money, but they call cornball jock lanes. Money can't make you real. Money can't make you no real man. Oh, you can make money as a real man, but you I put money in your hand. Don't magically make you a real man. Now do it. You still can beat on your wife. You still can do a lot of underhanded crazy stuff, right? So how'd that make you a real man? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Money don't make no man. Man make the money. Understand the difference. Understand the difference, buddy. You got some real men that are broke, and you got some suckers that got money. Okay? So understand that. And the truth of the matter is this. You played in the politics just like everybody else, and you expect somebody to love you through it. Bruh, how, how naive and simple can you be? If you play with somebody, you bring in hate on yourself. If you play with somebody, you brought that hate on yourself. If you play with somebody, you brought that hate on yourself. If you, you don't think I know you're involved in my politics. 
I don't care what it's about. I'm, I'm talking about real evidence. I'm talking about real happenings, real time stuff. And if you don't find that, guess what you're interested in? You're interested in the game, like the rest of these ignorant people. And I told you to stay away from it. I told you to keep your mouth off of it. I told you to stop playing with me because at the end of the day, you ain't black. And I'm going to be 100 with you. I'd rather take it from the black man than you. Well, I got a relationship with black people. I don't have a relationship with you. That's, That's 100. That's 100. I got many relationships with many black people. I have no relationships with Mexicans. You weigh the difference. So how would you be offended if somebody is not in your life, right? Playing in your politics, playing with your life. Let's be 100. Okay, I don't know you. I ain't got no relationship with your people. What relationship I got with Mexicans? What relationship I got with Mexicans? Huh? Name what relationship I got with Mexicans. I ain't got no relationship with you. So why is you in my politics? And then playing with my life and then expecting not to be despised. See, the word is you are despised. Oh, it's in the Bible. God despises things too. God despises proud looks. That's one of them. Go check all the things God despised. Yeah, you despised. You ain't, ain't nobody racist. You, you're despised because you played in somebody's politics. You played in a grown man politics. You acting like I'm 20 years old. I'm 41 years old. I'm a grown man. I ain't 20 years old, buddy. I'm glad I'm not, too. And if you think I'm somebody that want to be young, I don't want to be young. I'm, I embrace my old, my age, my old age wholeheartedly. I'm glad to get away from that. I'm glad to get away from it. And I ain't fight this long to get away from it for you to try to pull me back into some foolishness, some 20-year-old foolishness. Okay? That's beneath me. I'm 41 years old. I'm a four, I'm a 41 year old man. You think I'm playing games with you? Okay, okay. I'm just letting you know, bro. I'm just letting you know. You dealing with a smart cookie. You dealing with a smart cookie. You shouldn't even be involved in my politics. Why? I don't got a relationship with you. So you think you can just do it? Okay. There's rules to this, bro. There's rules to this, and you can't break them. Oh, you break them. You can break them, but you can't break them. <laughs> you can break them, but you can't break them. Ain't no black man allowing no non non black people in his politics like that. I'm sorry, that I ain't got no relationship with. Okay, and you know white people can't get in my politics. Not really. So and you know you can't either. You can't either. You can, no no no. You can say we all human, but we got rules down here. Why we? Why you talking about we all human? We got all rules down here too. We got full rules down this down here. Yeah, yeah, we all human, but we got rules too, bro. And the rules are, if you ain't, if you listen, some things you can't put your mouth on. Some things you ain't involved in enough to put your mouth on. If you ain't black, the rules are you can't really put your mouth on certain things. Now, can you? Because you're not living the black experience. You don't know what's going on. So the rules are, whether we human or whatever you think we are, or whatever you feel, (laughs) the bottom line is this, bro. We got rules and we play by these rules. That's a seven. I play by them even independent as a black man. See, what you don't understand is, in these last days, black people are independent of each other. That's a seven. Well, we don't get along. We're independent. I'm an independent. You see the difference? I'm not a separatist. I'm an independent. Yeah. While you talking about racism, I don't mess with nobody. Listen, I'm an independent, bro. I don't got to be part of that foolishness. It's the last days. Ain't nothing but foolishness. You stupid if you trying to be uh, a part of some kind of community with all this foolishness going on. It's not strange to be independent in these last days of communities in America. If you're not a part of any community, it is not strange because it's too much foolishness going on. See, some people just ain't got the balls to say it. I I, I say it. How are you going to be a part of this foolishness? So then what you supposed to do? Beg people to be right. Beg people to do the right thing. Beg people to be in your life. Beg people to do things the way you know God wanted them to do it. I ain't got time for that. They're grown people. I in, I'm independent. 
And if you don't understand that, you a simpleton. You a simp and you slow and you naive. That's all I got to say. I ain't walk around here just dumb and naive. And if you are, I'm, I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry for you more than anything if you sitting around here naive. But I'm not going to do it with you. That's all I'm saying. I speak for myself so people don't. So this is my thing. I don't give no room for people to sit back and think the wrong way, misinterpret me like you mean. Nah, I ain't going to give you room to do that. I speak. I set the record straight. Ain't nobody racist. You played in my politics. You know you did. You know your people did. And that's that. Now, if you want to go, you want to go, uh, you want to go hang out with people after they dig in your politics, that's you. But I have the prerogative to sit back and say, you know what? I ain't playing with that. I'm separate from that. You know what I mean? I'm separate from that community. I have the right to do that. Long as I don't put hands on you, long as I ain't got no doing no hate crimes, you got to kick rocks, bro. You got to fall back. Yeah, as a grown man or a grown woman, you ain't got no choice. If somebody don't love you, what you gonna do? Make somebody love you? And that's what you that's what that's what everybody here in America, I don't care what color you are, black, white, whatever. What you need to realize, man, what I came to terms with, what you need to come to terms with as a grown person, what you need to come to terms with as a grown man or woman, is that everybody is not gonna love you, bruh. Everybody ain't gonna love you. What you gonna do about a cry all day? She don't, she, listen, man, I don't have no problem with it. <laughs> That's one thing about me. Listen, I ain't out here begging for somebody's love. Now, do you see me doing that? Do you see me out here begging for anybody's love? But you doing, it seems like that's what you're doing. I'm not concerned with your love. <laughs> I'm, I'm being real. I, listen, I'm not concerned with your love or your hate, long as it ain't in my way. That's real. But when it's in my way, I'm going to address it. I am going to address it, bro. I'm not going to let you play with me like we 16. I'm not 16, bro. I'm 41 years old. My son is about to be 16. <laughs> in a couple of months. In a couple of months. I ain't no 16-year-old kid. I got a baby in the world. I got a son in the world at 16. I don't play no games, bro. I live in, I live like this. Real people live and die like this. That's what suckers don't know. We live and die like this. That's what make us real. That's what make us legends. That's what make us the legacy, the legends and have the legacy that we have. We live and we die like this. You fluctuate when you get scared. You fluctuate when you when you and you fold when things get hard. I'm I'm the same man I was last year. The same man now. Yeah, like I'm independent of that. You pulled up on the wrong brother. That's all it is. Now you want to renege on it like it didn't happen. Now you want to act like you want to renege on it like it didn't, like you ain't never was like that. You want to renege on it like you ain't have a whole different type of energy. That part, that's a seven. And that's all of y'all. You want to sit up and renege on the fact you had all this conspiracy energy, all these politic energies. Now you want to switch up. Like it never was like that. Won't you be a man or a woman about it? You was you was you was on a whole different energy, a whole different wave. Now all of a sudden you all on you on my side and everything. You don't, listen, bro. I'm an everyday person. You don't even need to worry about me. That's how I feel. I'm an everyday person. You don't even need to worry about me. That's real. And until you realize that is my perspective, you gonna you gonna keep offending me. Because they told you, these white folks or whoever told you, whether it was white folk, black folk, whoever told you, you could come around here. They were wrong. <laughs> they were wrong, boy. You can't come around here. You can't come around here. They were wrong. They told you wrong. You can't come around here without consequences. Man, we cursing everything that come through here. I'm a spiritual person. I'm cursing everything that come through here. If you even drive by here with the intentions of hexing me or cursing me or, or using any kind of telepathy or psychic power, you I know about all that. If you come through here with that, I'm cursing you. You're getting cursed. I'm telling you right now. You ain't nobody getting no passes. You come through here, I'm cursing you. I don't care what Christians think about it. You can go tell them. You can tell them I said it. 
You can tell all your preachers I said it. Anybody come through here playing games with me, I'm cursing them. It's biblical, the curse of the Lord. That's what the prophet Elisha put out. The curse of the Lord. Yeah, you don't own me. You Christians don't own me. God owns me. Yeah, you another one. I'll tell you too. I need to be independent of you too. Well, you ain't doing everything right in the last days now, are you? <laughs> like you doing everything right. That part. You know what you need to do? <laughs> as far as you go, you need to work out your own salvation, like the Bible says, with fear and trembling. That's what you need to do. You need to work out your own salvation, partner. Don't try to work out mine. Because the Bible makes it clear. God says this. The word of God says this. Today I put before you blessings and curses, life and death. Choose this day who you will serve. That's free will in essence. So don't, listen, listen, listen. Those two scriptures speak for itself. Christians, you need to hear that. God puts before each of us life and death, blessings and curses. You choose this day. You choose who you're going to serve. Yeah. And you walk away. That's all you got to say. Hey, I'm showing you what you need to do and walk away, bro. Don't don't come over here trying to like got like trying to play with me, bro. God put before me life and death. He gave me free will. OK, so don't come over here acting like I ain't got no free will. And that goes for you. That goes for any other community. I got free will. And when I tell you no, that means no, you ain't God. Even God gives you free will. That's the seven hour. Yeah, God even gives you free will. So what you talking about? I told you I ain't doing nothing for you people. For you Americans, I told you that. So I got free will. Now, if you want to sit here and rape my, my uh, atmosphere like I'm going to just do something for you like you're in the movies, I'm cursing you. Okay? That's where we at. Nah, other Christians ain't going through it, so they, don't, they can't relate to it. They can't relate to five years of playing games with these dumb Americans. It's time for curse time. It's curse time. That's what time it is. It ain't crunch time. It's curse time. You've been here too long. I'm cursing you. And some of you Christians, are, and let's be 100. I'm glad I'm on this. I'm saying it like this. You ain't ex experienced enough to, to, to counsel my situation. Oh, yeah, you can sit back and ravel off a million scriptures, but you ain't been through this. You ain't been through this consistently. You have not. And it's in, in, in me as a spiritual person, I know it's time for them to be cursed. Oh, okay. That's a seven. You don't know no better, do you? Because you ain't been through it. You ain't been through enough consistently. I'm talking about a real war with real people, with real lies, with real politics, playing games, games that you ain't even been in, games that they ain't even been, games that haven't even been done to you. No, it's time for curse. It's time for curse time. It's time to curse that. And you can sit up and play with it, talking about pray this and that and the third. But I can show you, I can show you in the Bible where God's people went to war with real human beings. God's kingdom went to war with real human beings. Go look in the Bible. And God is the same today, yesterday, and forever. Why are you talking about we don't fight against flesh and blood? What the kingdom of God was doing in the Bible when they was fighting against all type of different human beings, fighting, this, fighting against different nations, fighting against different kingdoms. Go look in the Bible, the kingdom of God. God's servants were fighting against human beings. And sometimes specific tribes, which means specific ethnicities. Ow, that's a seven. They were fighting. Go look in the Bible. The people of God, the children of Israel were fighting against specific ethnicities, specific tribes. The Ephanites and the Benjanites and the Distanites, those were Pacific ethnicities. That's a seven. It didn't have nothing to do, hear this part, it didn't have nothing to do with racism. It was specific offenses that had to be checked and addressed. Ain't no difference. Ain't no difference. You in this country, you, and you have, the, you have the luxury of talking about everything is racism. Sometimes it ain't. Sometimes you just went to war with the wrong person. Let's call it what it is. Everything, don't be simple. Everything ain't racism. You just think that they can't be, they can't be fought against. 
You think there can't nobody fight against black people and Mexican people and all these different people. I'm sorry. They're humans just like you. I'm sorry. They're subject to war just like the rest of us. They're subject to judgment just like the rest of us. And that's equality. That's a seven. That's equality. Okay? That's real equality. Where you get the same judgment, you get the same punishments as the rest of us. That's black people and Mexican. I ain't holding you up. You did something wrong, you're going to pay. You're going to go to jail like the rest of us. Imagine that, me keeping you out of jail because you black. Imagine that, me keeping you out of jail because you Mexican. Unfortunately, in the real world, we don't play by those rules, buddy. I don't care what color you are. You did wrong, you going to jail. And if you ain't going to jail, you're going to hell. Which one you want to do? And everything in between. So let's, so listen, 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 listen. Ain't nobody kissing nobody but I ain't kissing no Mexican booty. I ain't kissing no Mexican booty. If you play the game, you pay the price, buddy. Okay? It ain't nothing more to it. Because I got love for real Mexicans. I, I done gave my last, and this is not bragging, I done gave my last dollars to Mexican, to a Mexican man. When have you done that? When have you given your last dollar to a black man as a Mexican? Huh? I can say right now that I have given my last dollar to a Mexican man, a man of Mexican ethnicity. And that's not bragging. I'm sure I got to give you this example. I got to shut you down, bro. I got to shut you down off your suckerness. <laughs> off of your suckerness. Yeah, I, it's a Christian minister that I listen to. And I give to his ministry. He is a totally Mexican man. Not black and Mexican, white and Mexican. He is totally Mexican, right? I done gave my last dollar to him, cash have him my last dollar, literally. More times than I can even count. And I'm not bragging. I got to say this for the record. So that you will stop flattering yourself thinking that it's about you. No, you specifically played with me. Your tribe specifically played with me and you shouldn't be in my politics when I'm black and you're Mexican. I'm sorry to tell you. In this world, these are the rules because you're not, we don't have relationships, right? So why are you here? I got a relationship with you? The only relationship I got with the Mexican community is a, is a preacher, a Mexican preacher. And you know where that puts me? In a high-ranking position, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. While you listening to folklore and fairy tales, you still stuck on fairy tales, huh? That's going to get y'all messed up, y'all, with God. Look, I ain't got to do nothing to you. Have I done something to you? And that's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, have anybody said something to you? Anybody hurt you? Did I lay hands on you? Did I leave anybody stinking? Okay, then. Then you, then, you, then you need to grow up and be a man and realize, listen, sometimes our community do things and we lose some. We lose alliance because of some of our dumb people in our community. It, of course, it ain't everybody. But sometimes, unfortunately, in this real world we live in, sometimes people mess it up for everybody. That's a seven. We know that. We know that. Right? Sometimes people mess it up for everyone. And it's easy to sit back and talk about, oh, 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 this person's racist or whatever. Or you look, you could take responsibility and say, you know what? We lost that one. That's for black people and everybody else. We lost that one. You know why we lost them? Because we had ignorant people in our community that played games with it. Call it what it is. For money and for everything and then want to talk about racism. Nah, bruh. Nah, it ain't even that. It's, it's about respect in this real world. And I'm sure Mexicans know about that. Oh, yeah, they live by them codes of respect. They got those codes of respect. And you know how it is. They just don't want to apply it right here. Yeah, you don't want to apply. You know they don't violate it. You know they did a long time ago. You know they don't violate it a long time ago. Stop playing with me. So you know that this brings on offense. 
This brings on being insulted. Act like you know, man. Act like you know. Don't sit up here and insult my intelligence like nothing happened. And like they wouldn't know no different type of energy. Like that just like we just hate it for no reason. Nah, bro, you know better than that. You know better than that. So don't play with me, man. Don't sit around here and, and pass all these politics around like somebody, like somebody got something against you for no reason. You know exactly why you're being despised. You know exactly why the, there's tension. You know that. You know why. Now, you can sit here and play stupid with these white people and fool these white people and even fool these black people. You can't fool me, man. You can't fool me. I know what you did. I know how you did it. You've been doing it all throughout this neighborhood. It ain't no paranoia. It ain't no paranoia. I see it for what it is. I, I Listen, if you got street eyes to see, you got street ears to hear, you keep your ears to the street, you'll be sharp like me. <laughs> you can't get no, you can't pull nothing over on me, bro. Man, I don't have my ears and eyes... My ears and eyes have been to the street too long, too long for me not to know what I'm talking about. So when you offend me and you sit back and talk about racism, you lying to yourself. You know you lying to yourself. And you being a baby. You being a, a baby. Won't you accept like a man or woman, you lost one because you played games, you put yourself in my politics and you lost. And you lost. <laughs>